So we're going to do the wild mushroom saute, which is basically the simplest recipe you could come across. You could practically do it with your hands behind your back. We're using a package of the forest blend. Basically you got your stove going and we're, what we're going to do is put in a couple tablespoons of butter. That is looking good. You know, you can never have enough butter. That's about a tablespoon right there. Yeah, slide her in. What's really nice with wild mushrooms is some onion and garlic, and you can fry that at the same time. Just turning up the stove. That sounds like... Now we're cooking with gas. We've got our onions and butter frying away. Now we're going to add our chopped up mushrooms. Just grab those. You've chopped them up. You've squeezed them out. Drop them in the pan there. Right there. Yeah. Woo. Love those things. Smell so good. Gather up the little ones. Right there. You should always cook your wild mushrooms, but I just love them. I just eat them anyway. And of course, a little bit of wine goes well with your uh, mushrooms. Mmm. Ah, that's good. That's good stuff. That'll cure what ails you there. And again, you're going to spend probably 10, 15 minutes here. Frying these up, getting a nice little crisp on them. And then they're going to go in your soup. Or then they're going to go in your risotto. Or then they're going to go in your stroganoff. Basically all the recipes start the same way. You're going to soak them, chop them, fry them, get a little crisp on them. Then you're going to either mix them in cream cheese. You're going to just put them on a steak like that. You're going to make a gravy, a sauce, a pasta, a risotto. You're going to make something fun. Oops, I'll just grab that. And you're going to make something delicious. Ooh, remember. A little bit of wine for the food, a little bit for the chef. Mmm, <laughs> so we've got a nice little crisp on those mushrooms now and onions together and the butter. It's time, we're going to add a little splash of white wine is always nice. Yeah, it's a teaspoon, tablespoon, a little bit more. And then, that's called, they call that, the fancy word for that is deglazing. Mmm. So we're deglazing all the gooey, sautéed up goodness that was stuck to the bottom of the pan. We're pulling it up with the wine. It's going into the mushroom sauce goodness. Mm. Now the water we soaked the mushrooms in has a lot of flavor too. We're going to add about half of that. We're going to reduce that down. Drop that on. It's lots right there is how I like to do it. And then we just simmer. And then once the moisture is gone from that, and the smell through your house makes anyone who walk in the door says, mm, what is happening in here? This is fantastic. Then it's ready to go on your steak, on your omelets, in your rice dishes, in your stuffing, in your vegetables, grains, pilafs, pulses, soup, tortellini, on fish, on toast, my stomach's growling just talking about it. Mmm, they smell delicious. Scoop up your mushrooms. Now that could go just on a steak like that would be fantastic. Okay, or it's going in your other recipes. For the cream cheese spread and other favorites of Untamed Feast recipes, you're going to chop them finer. This is the simple mushroom saute. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that was a hot sample. Hot. Delicious though, mushroomy, buttery, mm. and good for your brain and your bones, your immune system. These are all healthy, safe, wild mushrooms. What's that? It's the start of every recipe I just said, heard myself say. Yummy! Thanks guys, enjoy your untamed feast wild food.